That's uh, Swedish for yes, by the way. Oh, it is? Okay, yeah. good. Wait, good. no is Swedish for yes? Uh, nay. That, that nay could, is Swedish oh, for I no. Because yeah. that could get confusing. You went there, right? To Sweden, yeah. yeah how was it? It was great. Uh, would, you leave, would you leave here and go there forever? Because I, I just saw, I watched that. Did you, Tina Turner lives there. I didn't know that. She, no shit. She's lived there for years. And I, she just is she hiding like from a, Bobby Brown? I met one other American sort of. there that lived there, uh, and he lived in the city there. I spent like 50% of his time in Stockholm and then the other 50 out in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, country Sweden and Stockholm Sweden are two different fucking... Like country Sweden, mm -hmm. if, if it wasn't for the fact that our rural population here is, uh, tends to be a little on the heavier side, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a country person in the United States and a country person in Sweden. They generally dress the same. They, I don't know, it, very, a lot of similarities. Well, they probably, here oh, in America, fuck. they wore a Carhartt up until last week. They're still wearing yeah. Carhartt. I, I ran into somebody last night. Sw I, Sw Switzerland, I'm sorry. I fucked it up. No, I was in Sweden. Yeah, Sw yeah. Switzerland's where Tina Turner lives. I oh, yeah. I could, a lot of Americans go there. Yeah, yeah, to avoid taxes and things like that. Yeah. No shit. Pesky little things like that. Sweden's... Yeah. The, so I, th I think the world of Sweden, it's a fascinating culture, really cool history. I, they're really great people. I think they do things generally right there. Um... The only reason I could never, I, I, I could spend a lot of time there, but the only reason I could never live there is that place is so goddamn stable. As an American, I would probably miss the chaos, the chaos, the, yeah. the chaos you would, of our culture. You would culture. become a drug addict over there because I'd be no one of the only five homeless people because yeah. I would be lost. I think uh, I, 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 I could talk shit about my country in all sorts of different contexts mm -hmm. all day long. But I am an American, and this is where I belong. At the end of the day, I would not survive well in a stable place like Sweden. Why is it so stable? Is everybody polite, or what? what like what? What the, makes it different? They're relatively and historically homogenous, so they already have an advantage. Where, you know, it, it, there aren't massive clashes of culture, right? So this this entire the entire Western Hemisphere has to deal with it. It's not just the United States. It's mm. from Canada down to Patagonia. Every culture in this part of the world, like it's it's you know diverse. Mm. Where historically speaking, mm. they got ten million people there that, for the most part, all look the same or white. And the, but yeah, but they've all they have this like culture that's just embedded and it's ancient. And they have this thing called logum, which means and they live by that shit. Means not too much and not too little. So their highs aren't as high as ours. Like their wealthy people don't live in extravagance like our wealthy people do. They're, they're well off, right? They can have their own little island, but th their houses aren't the same. And their lows aren't as low as ours, right? They don't have the same kind of poverty that we have. Everybody has their job. Everybody can afford a car and a house and a TV. Uh, and they just, you know, they're just, it's just stable. Well, that sounds like a bunch of liberal bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck poor people. I've said it forever. But but the opportunity to for, for grand wealth isn't there like it is here. And the opportunity to break out of certain like class systems, even though it's not bad to be middle class, it's not bad to be middle class here. But like it, it's hard to break if you're like a middle if you grew up in Sweden, you're a middle class person. Mm -hmm. Um it's hard to ascend to become the CEO of IKEA or mm. or you know, wildly wealthy. Um, it, there's just more working against you. Why? My, uh, j it's just the system there. And it, it's both probably the political system, but it's just cultural. That you, everyone just kind of has their place and they're content with it. And uh, the, the, the HSG, the re she got her American citizenship. She's still, st still very proudly Swedish. She goes there quite a bit, you know, two or three times a year. But the reason why she likes America is she, she has the opportunity to be and do whatever the fuck she wants here. Mm. Cause she comes from a country where she never, she didn't come here from some shitty third world country where like she had to get away. She had, you know, very stable life there, but she liked, you know, that she could come to America and she didn't have, she could do whatever the fuck she wanted. It's called, yeah. li it's called Liberty. <laughs>